Hey, what's up guys? My name's Clint. You're watching my channel, The Not Lost Nomad. I'm here at Caprock Canyon State Park. I'm gonna head out on just a single overnight loop. I'm on the South Prong Trail this morning. I'm planning on going to the primitive campsite that's just about a mile in. That's why I have an extra heavy pack because I'm only going in a mile. I'm gonna drop my pack, put on my day pack, and then I'm gonna head along the Haynes Ridge Trail to kind of capture some of the overlooks and then continue on down the Haynes Ridge Trail, then loop back to my campsite. It's about 55 degrees, it's sunny, it feels great. Tonight's gonna be about 30 degrees. So let's check it out. Here's the view looking into the South Prong Trail. And again, up to the right up top would be the Haynes Ridge Trail. So let's check it out. So I picked up my permit at the visitor center on the way in. I uh, did it in advance online on their website. It was a uh, $17. You have to register your vehicle and everything. But it's slow right now. There's there were plenty of sites. It's a good time of year to go. It's not too hot. It gets hot during the summertime. But being winter, it's a perfect time to come. So there's bison everywhere. Typically they don't cause too much of an issue unless you get too close. But uh, just last week, one of the hikers that was going through this trail was chased out of here by a bull. So whenever I was getting my permits, they were kind of warning everybody to be a little extra cautious. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'd say the best thing to do is run. I got a heavy pack. I don't feel like I'm running, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll see. It gum it. See? That sucker's coming toward me. Me and wildlife the same been getting along lately. Right there on the freaking trail. Sees me coming. It starts coming straight towards me. Dead gum it. Looks like I'm gonna be sitting here until they move on. Ah, why did I do this again? <laughs> yeah, there's three of them. The one on the trail's not that big, but the two to the left, pretty good size. So I tried to get close one more time and they started to get more agitated. And that's whenever I saw the two calves with many more bison coming straight towards me. So I decided to retreat back, tuck away in the best hiding spot I could until they all went by. So that's how I found myself stuck here in this dry wash. Give me about a minute or so. I'm up here in that ditch. Yeah, I don't know where they went, but <laughs> that was more than I wanted to try to deal with. I was huddled up in a dig up ditch there for a couple of minutes. All right, so back on the trail. This is the third, I believe, dry creek crossing. Voodoo straight ahead. Should be getting close to camp. Pretty big wash right here. I don't want to lug this pack around all day. I threw a bunch of extra stuff in there I usually don't take. Got a, got a chair, got a cooler, a couple other nicer things. And going into another crossing. So I made it to the South Prong Primitive camping area. Pretty hard to miss. I'm gonna go drop this pack and set up camp. So let's go check out this campsite. All right, so once you get to the top of the hill, there's campsites spread all around here. And what's really nice is there's a restroom right there. Wow, this is a rare luxury. An actual toilet, pretty cool site. All right, got my day pack packed up. About to head up Haines Ridge Trail. 
So let's go check it out. All right, so we're going back with the South Prong Trail. Yeah, so this section actually goes down into the creek bed. Okay, so remember those buffalo earlier? I was kind of ashamed because I had to jump off the trail. The two guys ahead of me, they said they went running into the brush because they started coming after them. So I'm glad I tucked off the trail. I don't feel so bad about doing it now. I hear people going up the ridge. See somebody climbing straight up that way. Beautiful out here. Really reminds me of Sedona. As you can see, all the rock has changed colors from red to a bright white. So I think we should be kind of starting to level out soon. Let's look back from where I just came from. All right, still going up. You can see my tent right down that way. It's glowing orange in the sun. Trail snakes up along this. Came up right this way. Still heading on up that way. But yeah, this is cool. Really enjoying this climb. It's a lot more significant than what I thought. And it's really not that far from the house. Took me about six hours to get here this morning, which is short for something to do in Texas. Yeah, definitely worth the drive. All right, we're coming up on the split right here. To the right is gonna be Haynes Ridge Overlook. And if you wanted to just go to Fern Cave, that's gonna take, you're gonna take a left that way to the uh, North Prong. Let's uh, go check out the Haynes Ridge Overlook Trail. This part of the trail gets pretty narrow. Starting to be able to see over into the North Prong. You got a canyon right over this way. When that just came up. on the Haynes Ridge Trail. Looking back, that steep section that I came down earlier, that's gonna be that area right there. All right, so I'm starting to climb back up a little bit. You know, part of me was talking about going to 
the North Prong Trail and messing with all that. I think I'm gonna head back to camp. I have a cooler of Miller Lite waiting on me. And uh, I think I'm gonna hang out, listen to some music, cook some dinner, and just enjoy being out of here. Uh, so I'll go down this Haynes Ridge Trail all the way to the North Prong parking area. And then there's just a short walk by road to get back to the trailhead where I started. I'm just gonna take it easy and just head back to camp. Uh, this is awesome though. If you've never been out here, uh, definitely check it out. I mean, I'm born and raised in Texas. This is my first time out here and I'm kicking myself for not coming out here earlier. So there'll be many more trips soon. All right, I finally get a good view back to the South Prong. You're gonna look at the mileage and be like, that's it? Just this top section, this Haynes Ridge Trail. It only shows to be like oh, just over two miles. It's taking me forever to get this thing hiked through. I don't know if it's the terrain or if it's just I'm stopping too much. Just know it's gonna take you a little bit longer than you expect. You can see some guys over there, it looks like yeah, that's the viewpoint that we're headed to. Really spectacular. Scenic overlook up at the top. Haynes Ridge, switch back and climb. Go that way. There's the North Prong parking lot. Looks like there's another view up there. I think I'm gonna run up there to check it out. Time to make the descent. This should be interesting. This part's no fun. Lots of loose rocks. When you're going down on this mass, don't forget to look up. Yeah, so what I mean by it being tricky, I mean, look at this narrow. We made it to the bottom. So that is the Haynes Ridge Overlook Trail. Heading back home. If you haven't seen it already, you're gonna see a lot of that. Okay, so I knew that there were bison out here. I didn't realize there were so many. A lot more than I thought. Just cool. Taking out this drainage. A little canyon. Pretty neat. Alright, so this is looking back from where I just came from. Group up there climbing. Um, I can see cars. I'm almost back to the North Prong trailhead. North Prong Spur Trailhead. That's what it looks like. Beautiful. So the upper canyon trails are gonna be what we did today. They're gonna be a lot more dramatic, lots of heavier climbing, lots of big views and things like that. Then just on the other side of here, we have the lower canyon. 
it's in a broader area of the canyon and it's a lot more of gradual up and down you're not going to get big views on that one but there's a lot more wildlife i hear there's a lot of bison out that way and uh lots of cool things on that trail but you don't get the big views that we had today all right so when you get back to the road you're going to take a right again we're at the north prong got to hike back over there to the south prong bison over there we parked right up here and we started the trail right there this is also the beginning of the trail and this is what they use for their ATVs. So instead of walking all the way back up the trailhead, you should just be able to take this path. And now we're seeing what we saw earlier today. Heading back to it, I'm gonna try to cruise through this. I'm not gonna film a whole lot. This trail seems a lot easier without hauling a huge pack on my back and a cooler of beer. You, this looks so much like Sedona, Arizona, or Zion National Park up in Utah. Just a little miniature version. I'm not comparing it to those. It's just cool to have something so close. Just made it back to camp. The hoodoo were over there and lit up. Gonna get ready to have some dinner. So I need to thank my buddy Cody for letting me borrow this amazing chair. This is the Helinox. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's mighty fine. So I got some uh, Tyler Childers going on the radio. Good recommendation by my buddy Cameron with Ultralight Outdoors. He would be pretty proud of me right now. I'll show you why. I brought my steaks. Got her all staked up. Cameron and I took a trip to Big Bend, and I'll put the link for the video about right here. I told him. Uh, this goes last possible with my tent. I've never brought steaks. He was like, are you sure you're not going to bring any steaks? And then uh, that cold front came in that night. And man, I got soaking wet. I got cold. It was uh, not the funnest hike out. But uh, so this time, you know, since I've learned my lesson, I brought my tent steaks. It's the first time on a hiking trip I've been able to bring a cooler with me. I'm pretty excited. For dinner tonight, I got some creamy macaroni and cheese. So it should be pretty good. It's gonna be a pretty night. Sun's starting to go down. I'm taking it easy. Feet are sore, and uh, I feel like I, you know, put in a good hike today. But hoping to get some good sleep tonight. One more shot of my setup here. Got that really cool looking hoodoo. The sun's still on right now. Just a real pretty view. warming back up that's cold beer it makes you cold when it's cold outside all right it is really cold so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night it's gonna get in the, the uh, lower 30s tonight but anyways i'll check back with you in the morning hey good morning just getting up this morning the uh temperature really dropped last night it got pretty chilly but slept pretty good back to uh pack up camp but uh, i'm gonna get up and get some coffee going and Get some breakfast. Sun's starting to come up over on these cliffs, lighting everything up. Sun's a bad peak over there. Pulling up some water here for some biscuits and gravy. A little bit of Starbucks via coffee. And there's the sun. Beautiful. stuff leaving camp kind of want to be able to get back in good time to hit the road
short easy hike out you probably can't see it on the camera but I see the vehicles up there already coming up on the trailhead it's been quiet so far on the trail so if I haven't mentioned it yet when I get back to the truck I'm heading to heading south of here I'm gonna go check out Clarity Tunnel on the uh, bike path and I'll, I'll show you the details of that whenever I get there yeah looking forward to doing something a little bit different so almost there All right, so this is look back from where I just came from. South Prong, Cap Rock Canyons. So I've mentioned before, um, the backcountry sites here are really close to the trailhead. And I didn't know how I was gonna like it, but honestly, it's kind of cool. And of course, I like the seclusion of those far out backcountry sites, but it's kind of convenient. And you still get the same experience. Seriously, it's such a big shot. All right, back to the spur, to the trailhead. There's the rock iron. Back to the trailhead. Nice easy hike out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button. Um, if you have any questions for me, just put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. But uh, Cap Rock Canyons, it's a beautiful place. Definitely come check this place out. Highly underrated, very slow, very quiet, uh, but breathtakingly beautiful. Let's hope and pray there's still a bike in here. Yes, sir. -y. So now, I'm gonna head south from here, head to the Clarity Tunnel Trailhead. I'm gonna go check out the Clarity Tunnel. It's a five mile out and back, which is gonna be about a 10 mile bike ride. So I'm gonna go check it out now. So we'll see ya.